Okay, today guys, we're going to use the skip counting division strategy to solve a division equation. And so this strategy is really useful for students who haven't learnt their times tables yet. And it's a really good way of accessing division by using some skills and knowledge that you probably already have. And so what we're going to do is do some skip counting. So what I've done is I've written the equation up the top, which is 24 divided by 3, and we're going to find out the answer. Down the bottom, I've drawn in a number line. And some people may want to use the number line, though other people may just want to count on their fingers. Either is okay, but you do need a way to track your um, work so that you can find out the answer. So with division, what we're trying to do is we're trying to work out how many times three is in 24. And so we can use skip counting to help us because we can count up along the number line and work out how many times we can add three until we get to 24. So I'll show you how it works. I'm going to use my red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one jump here and then using my blue, I'm going to add three. So we're on three. And I'm going to keep going. Second jump, add another three. Now I'm on six. And because I'm jumping up, all I'm doing is adding three each time. We'll go to nine. The only trick with this is to make sure that you get enough room in to fit in all with the jumps that you need. So don't make your jumps too big. I'm gonna keep going. So now I'm on 15. I'm starting to think I'm not far off 24. I only think I need a couple more jumps. So I've probably timed, well, I guess it's timing or spaced out my jumps pretty well here. Right, and I'm starting to see what the answer is going to be. One more jump. Three. Okay, now I'm going to quickly check my maths. Three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus another three is 12, plus another three is 15, plus another three is 18, plus another three is 21 plus a final three is 24. It's actually quite important to check your maths because sometimes people can make mistakes when they add the number down the bottom here. And that can of course mean that you don't actually get to 24. And you might be a bit confused. So then what we do to work out how many times three has been added, um, we count the jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what that means is that three goes into 24 eight times because we were able to make eight jumps. So 24 divided by three equals eight. Hopefully that's helped you work out how to use skip counting to solve division equations.